What is up guys? It's Tech Brothers here. You guys might have seen that we just had WWDC. Apple just held their conference at the Worldwide Developer Conference and we just have a little things to say about it. Uh, I think we're going to start out with iOS 8 and the main thing to know is it's not really a design change because of course Johnny Ive took over mobile software like a few years back and he's already put his touch on that it's more of a couple new features and we're gonna go through these features um, first off you guys are gonna notice is we're not gonna get in the discussion of stealing Android because they obviously they all come from the same type of realm of design and features they're all gonna borrow each stuff off each other yep. um, so we're just gonna basically go through the new stuff that you as Apple users or IS iOS users or OS X users are now going to benefit from these new changes. First off, we've got continuity. Um, basically, this this puts your devices together is what you're saying. Yeah. Right? Like example is if you're if you're working, to, let's say you're on a, the pages on your on your iPad, and let's just say you get tired of typing on that screen, and you want to take it to your your iMac or your MacBook Pro, you just log right on your MacBook and it'll show up in the left corner basically by the rest of the docs and you just click it and it comes right back on it it recognizes them all the devices in one it acts as if it knows what you're doing in a sense so your iMac is keeping track of you which kind of sounds weird but it's knowing what you're doing on other your other devices that are registered under your name so it's gonna know that you're on your iPhone typing uh, email and it's going to recognize that and get, prompt you to do it on another device if you so choose. Yeah, Apple Apple Craig, what, Fettigrini is his name? Yeah. He said the right device for every situation. So if you're on one thing and you want to take to the eat, take it to the other thing, then it's nice and simple. You're not, you're cool not stuck. Feature. And it's can, I mean, it's, it's convenient. It's convenient, I mean, yeah. Apple's all about sync. So it's everything works in tune with each other, which a lot of other companies can't say they do. Um, next thing we're going to talk about, one of our favorite features coming from people who switch between iOS and Android quite yeah. often, um, custom keyboards. Now, lots of you who are running Android know about this. Um, we enjoy s s um, Swipe the most, and which is one of the main reasons we enjoy Android and the custom ability that comes with it. We we can type much faster, and it's just an awesome experience to use. And now all of a sudden... Well, yeah, you said yourself that the only reason you got a Nexus 5 was for swipe. And exactly. Great feature. And now you, there, there's already companies making keyboards, custom keyboards for iOS. We've got Flex, flex Key, yeah. um, a all types, of... swipe. We're going to have all that stuff now. Granted, we're a few years behind, but hey, we'll take it. Better it's, than ever. It's it's here, and we'll, we'll take it for sure. Um... Another cool feature is the hotspot feature, which, I mean, in a way, is the same idea as the continuity feature because it's using your devices for one purpose. And let's just say, like, you're on a train and you don't want to tether your device with a Wi-Fi or another thing. You can just hotspot from your phone. It'll show up right in your spotlight search next to your, next to your spotlight search, and it'll just automatically connect. They, they had an example that said, like, Emily's iPhone, and he just connected. He didn't have to type any passwords in and it was just connected and ready to go, which is extremely convenient. Which is nice too, because we're in the boat where we are grandfathered in with AT&T for unlimited internet. So, you know, we have unlimited data, so we can use this feature quite usefully on trips and yeah. different types of stuff. Sitting in the car. Exactly, and we ha we don't now have to pay extra for the hotspot feature. We're not gonna use the other than on our devices that we own already. So now for the $30 a month that we might have been spending on a hotspot feature, we now don't have to do that, which is pretty awesome in our opinion. So now we're going to move on to the Photos app, and this will move into messaging and other types of situations that they talked about in the conference itself. But the new Photos app is pretty great. Um, you were talking about the they, ability to sync with devices. Yeah, they, they, had than they, had they had that before. They had that before, sharing. but now, now all of them automatically go. And the new Photos app has a lot more features in it. And I think it more t it's tailored towards more of the pro user now. I mean, that's what they're looking for instead compete of just with the, the point and this snap. Go, yeah, compete with – they're trying to keep – I mean, they're not going to compete with DSLRs, but they're trying to get in that market because the camera that you always have on you is on your cell phone. And oh, yeah. 
you know, me being a photographer, I carry around my DSLR wherever I go, but a lot of people don't. And we're now getting into the technology where the camera on you can in your pack, pocket yeah. is just you can does that in. does a good does a good enough job to create stunning photos. And now with you know new editing tools that they're now allow, adding into the Photos app, you know they're trying to compete with people like Visco Film and Snapseed and other types of well, a lot of editing doing software that, that they can now compete with those the new HTC One M A. They're going for that, more the pro user to get that depth of field and stuff. And Apple's jumping on that bandwagon as well. So we like that as well. Um, next is the messaging app, and this is pretty awesome. Again, they're trying to compete with other types of apps, right? They want to, in a way... They want to kill everybody and make everybody use an Apple. And that's product. okay. I mean, we like yeah. the seamlessness that comes with Apple, and is one of the main reasons we use their stuff to begin with. And um, They you have know, voice we're... clips now. Which, I mean, I don't really understand because couldn't you just call them? That's the reason a lot of people text. But, but you don't have to be on the phone call as long. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because so, it's just right quick. You just da 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 done. And it sends. And snap, self-destructing self photos, photos. Snapchat. And they're, like, they're heading towards you. You just, you just press the button on the right and you just lift up and it just focuses, snap, and then you go. It automatically sends. Which well, is pretty you awesome. You probably have to okay at first just in case you, you didn't like the photo, but... So, I mean, overall, I guess our conclusions would be we enjoyed the conference. Granted, we would like to have seen more hardware. Hardware, hardware, hardware. But it's you been can't six always, months in 2014. But you can't always get what you want. Exactly. And we'll take what they gave us. I mean, we are pretty stoked about all the new features. I mean, granted, we're a, a little bit behind in some aspects of Android. But, hey, we're, we're, we'll take our free hotspot. We'll take our custom keyboards now. We've already times behind us, so that stuff's irrelevant. Um, the continuity is amazing, and nobody coming, has that. Coming, they, coming from a, a guy who owns a professional business and takes pictures, and ev all my devices are Apple. So now it's so seamless to use and to work in a way mm -hmm. that is the most efficient. And Apple has really tailored towards the creative type. And exactly. I mean, we definitely can't complain about that. So yeah. overall, I, I mean, I'd say it's a pretty awesome conference. I think they're just setting it up. I mean, they're setting it up for their their hardware in the future. I mean, it's showing that Apple means business. I mean, since Steve Jobs died, they they're not slowing down. I mean, iOS seven is was great, and that was more of a design haul. But now they're looking for the features, the killer features, and not the not the gimmicky features either. They're looking for the features that. The average person's gonna use the, the average person's gonna use the new ability. swipe, a new swipe keyboard. The average person is gonna have their iPad and their phone and their and their laptop paired up. I mean, it's just great and it's great because now it's with Yosemite and we can move on to that now, right? Don't you think? Yeah, I say our next video. Stay in tune for that. Um, we'll be talking about OS X Yosemite, which is a big part of our lives because we both use Macs. Um, mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll have a new Mac Pro video coming at you shortly, which is pretty exciting. Um, until next time. Yeah, until next time.